Hey there, y'all. Disney D. Prince here today with another Barbie Fashionista unboxing. Today, we have Barbie Fashionista number 209. Now, she is very cute. I'm pretty sure she is the only one out of this series other than our Down Syndrome Barbie that got a new face mold. We are going to take her out of the box and take a look at her and see just what kind of vibe she is giving other than Blair Waldorf. But I love that vibe, so it's perfectly all right by me. So let's take a look. So she has got her 209 right there on the side. Here she is over here. She is a tall. And we are going to get her out of the box after we take a look at this UPC. There's her UPC and her assortment number in case you're trying to find her in stores. I paid standard fashionista pricing, so about $11. I ordered mine from Amazon because I kept waiting for her to pop up in stores and it they just didn't. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna order them and just take them as they come. Why they decided to tape part of the box in there, but they did. So here she is. She's got really cute shoes and a very cute face. Just a slight hump to her nose is going to give her away as a new face mold. You can see that right there. She's got very pretty eyes though. They're like an olive green. So we are going to get her out of her box and we're gonna take a look at her. Now, I have, a, like, I have a soft spot in my heart for single hair color Barbies because they are just more realistic in my opinion. But we are going. Now she is kind of a 70s inspired. Like I could have seen this outfit on the Brady Bunch if it was like a little bit longer. But super cute. So there is the 2022 face mold sculpt. So she is our new sculpt. I love her little headband. It's very cute. It has a very discreet little um, thing on there. It'd be a little hard to get this to stay on with just the rubber band, so I'm going to leave it like she is. I don't know why her shoes are held on with rubber bands. It seems like these would fit. We've got a little buckle, a little uh, beveling there on the heel, and she is on a tall body. So I'm thinking that she is going to be a match for our um, for either our basketball player or our BMR Millie. We're going to take a look. I'm going to try her against our new Millie that we have. So this is her against the volleyball and she's a little too light. This is her against the standard size green made to move yoga. A little light, but still very cute. Now let's see. So this is our tall Millie. I think that's gonna be pretty perfect. It doesn't look like it by their faces. You see, this Millie looks a little light, but if you put the legs up against the faces and things like that, and you change the lights, I think this is gonna be our better bet than the, uh, than the tall Barbie. But I'm gonna see if I have any basketball player Barbies. I don't think I do, unfortunately. So it's gonna be that or I'm gonna to have to readjust her. Because unfortunately, basketball player Barbie is a little harder to find. 
So we are going to just wing it with this one. We've got to get all of her accessories off first. She has got a thousand and one things. The BMR line, I loved it, but I also hated it just a little. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty close. Mm -hmm. Got a nice soft one. And I do this off screen because it makes people anxious. There we go. And we have got our B. I don't know why. She has got original feet. Well, she might be an original body, actually. I'm not sure. I think she's supposed to be a tall. We'll, we'll check it out, don't worry. Don't think she's original. She might be, though. Let me compare this body to one of our... To our body. Hmm? She might be original, actually, now that I look at her. I'm gonna make her tall, though. got a nice soft head still. Power went out of my apartment from a storm and it went nice and warm to soften up all these doll heads. So she is on an original body. We're gonna try her on this. Millie Again, not a horrible match. I don't know if it would look any better, really. I think this one's actually darker than that one. Yeah. Uh, so she may actually be a better match for the soccer player Barbie. But this is going to be the one I put her on. She's got a nice high collar to kind of uh, draw attention away from the face and neck difference. Mm -hmm. So she is on an original body, but she's very cute. We're going to just kind of slide her into these big heels. They're open in the front and open in the back. I think we're fine on those. So that is who I put her on. She's probably going to be a better match for soccer player and basketball player Barbie. Uh, those are a little harder to come by now. Not impossible. Again, secondhand markets are a thing. Uh, but you might be better off trying to use the green Barbie that I showed, like the green yoga tie-dye. So there she is back there. And as you can see from that distance the skin tone difference is not huge like it's maybe half a shade difference but it's very cute and I love her vintage vibe she's giving Blair Waldorf and I am so happy about that so that is Barbie fashionista number 209 if you have any questions about her let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it, leave me a like, and as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.